going on guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if it's your first time here you know just a few days ago we had below zero temperatures here everything was covered nice you could go outside and in 10 minutes your hands were freezing off your feet were cold your nose was cold and the snot was starting to run because those temperatures were so low and now it's nice out here it's early morning right now and i just called to find out what temperature it was and it is 63 degrees here in my area so we go from below zero just a few days ago ice freezing cold to 63 degrees that's an amazing temperature jump and i'm sure a lot of you all are experiencing the same thing because i've seen people other people talking about this about these extreme temperature changes where they are at and you know i'd rather have an extreme temperature change to warmth than cold but in the last few days we've had both we've had drop down to below zero and now up to 63 degrees here of a morning and they're getting good weather for the complete four i think it's eight day forecast but anyway i digress i got an email about two weeks ago i think it was from someone asking me essentially paraphrasing here what would i do to fix this country if money was no object and I'm sure he had good intentions, but I don't think he liked my reply because when I replied, he replied back, then I replied another reply, and he didn't he didn't reply to that last email I sent because he didn't like my answer. And my answer was that no amount of currency threw out a problem. This problem is gonna fix this country. This country is too far gone. And you know, unfortunately, a lot of people in the US and the government and pretty much everyone thinks that you can fix everything by throwing currency at it and what we have here going on now is it because we have a lack of currency we have plenty of currency in existence right now actually too much currency that's backed by nothing that's part of the problem as far as the economy goes and this inflation that we're seeing now however this country is morally bankrupt and you can't fix that by throwing currency at it it is in people's hearts in people's minds in people's beliefs and it's uh been going on for some time now and it's been on purpose they've been destroying the morality in this country you know you can go on TikTok, for example you can look at uh, facebook reels for example or any part on the internet actually and people has went crazy you see some of the stupidest things that i've ever seen in my life on these platforms and you see women you know doing things showing their body trying to get a view trying to get a like trying to get a few dollars in currency and they're pumping and grinding and picking stuff up with their you know off the, off the floor and things like that I've seen everything pop up and I'm like what in the world is going on here why are you showing me this crap for you know because I don't want to see that I don't want to see that perversion and you see people with implants in their head that try to look like a devil put horns in their head you see people with forked tongues to cut their tongue to make it look like a snake uh, all kinds of body modifications you see now and that shows the mindset of people and we see open Sodom and Gomorrah encouragement of Sodom and Gomorrah we see mutilation of children we have wholesale abortion here in this country and it is not because because of lack of currency it's because it's been systematically destroyed morally over the years and it really started in about 1960 something and we saw it progress and now i mean it's just a free-for-all and everything pretty much everything goes now we have alternative lifestyles being promoted we have children being taken by their parents to drag shows i mean little children we have gender altering surgeries going on and it's everyone's like Woohoo! Free for all. People lie, cheat, steal, whatever. They don't care about their fellow man whatsoever. We saw the attendance of people going to church has dropped dramatically. I forgot the percentage wise, but it's dropped dramatically. Belief in God has dropped dramatically. And it just shows the complete moral decay of this country. And it's been on purpose. And no amount of currency is going to actually going to do anything to that and fix that because it's a war of the heart of the mind and of the soul and it's been 
like I said, systematically destroyed from the inside for a purpose to make us weaker. You know, if you have a strong belief in God, you have strong belief in traditional family, you have strong morals, then the country is stronger. If everyone's like that, you know, there's always been bad people, but if the country as a whole has morals, they have belief in God, they have a belief in traditional family, they bond together with their family, they bond together with their community, it makes us stronger, and they don't want that, they want us weaker. And not only does it make the people as a whole weaker when they have no moral values, no moral compass, no belief in God, no belief in community, no belief in themselves, anything goes type society, it makes the people weaker. But also, it makes the government stronger. If you look at any communist country, take China for example, it's the largest communist country now in existence, and if you look at that country, they want you to look at the government as being God. They want you to put the government as your savior, as your God, as your all-knowing, as your all-in-one authority figure, the federal, the communist government. They also want you to put that same communist government above your family, above everything. You have the government here that's in full control, your God, and you have you here, and that's what they, and that's the way they want people to see the government. And that's why they want to destroy you know, family values, traditional family, and belief in God, church attendance. And even if you don't believe in God, if as a whole the community does, it makes a better community because you're going to have people who actually believe, who are faithful, who try to live right, who don't rape, kill, uh, cheat, commit adultery, fornication, all kinds of crap that people do now. If you actually have a belief in God, and it's widespread, that cuts that down a lot. Crime and things like that go down a lot. So if you don't believe in God, you have to admit that a belief in God makes people better. It makes people be more moral, more happy, actually, to be honest about it. Because you have a strong belief in God, you're happy. Because you know, you know that when you die, your spirit, if you lived right and you've done the right thing, you're going to go to heaven. And these governments, these communists, they don't want you to believe that. They want you to believe in the government. The government knows everything. For example, trust the science. And you know, not only morally bankrupt, this country is financially bankrupt. The guy was talking about, if I had unlimited currency, the federal government has unlimited currency. They just print, 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 and put it onto the national debt, and we see it's making this inflation now, and it's not fixed anything. So, you know, the country is bankrupt. We have, I think it's $31 trillion in debt. So how is having more currency to throw at these problems going to fix the economy? It wouldn't it have the opposite. It had the opposite effect. It caused more inflation, more hyperinflation. So the country is morally bankrupt and it's financially bankrupt. But guys, the federal government on both sides is completely corrupt. The government's bankrupt and it is corrupt. If you look at the Democrats, complete corruption. They're not really Democrats anymore. They are communists. You know, it used to be we had the center. We had the Democrats over here on the left. We had the Republicans over here a little bit on the right. And it was very close on a lot of issues. But now we have the Democrats way over here to where socialism is. And we have the majority of the Republicans way over here right next to where they are. So they're all pretty much in lockstep with all their main policies and agenda. And they are completely corrupt. They are immoral, godless, useless bunch of perverted liars. When you look at Joe Biden, you look at the Biden crime family, completely corrupt. You look at all of them on both sides. There might be a few that might pretend to be decent, and it might be decent, I don't know. However, you know, I look at them all as being the same. I don't trust anyone in government because we have so much corruption in government, and that can't be fixed by throwing currency at it. And the problems we have, I don't think nothing can fix these problems that we have, unfortunately. And most people look at everything that's going on as just things are happening, it's just degrading. They don't look at it for what it actually is, and that is a detailed plan has been made long ago to systematically destroy this country from the inside. The United States has been a beacon for freedom and prosperity for decades. And they don't want that. They want to show that this system we have doesn't work. They want to show that we need full authority of government. That these globalists 
actually control. The globalist controls the government, but they want people to think that this type of government we have, the constitutional rights, the Bill of Rights, and our freedoms we have here in the U.S. and the founding principles in this country doesn't work long term. They want people to think that it has fell apart because of that, but it's actually because of being, like I said, morally bankrupt and financially bankrupt and just corrupt all the way around in our government. But it's all a plan. It's a plan to destroy this form of government and bring the United States down to this third world country. And then they can come in and say, we can fix this, but you have to give us full power. We have to have get rid of the current system and replace it with this other system. And it's this green agenda system that's actually communism. It's communism dis disguised as being environmentally friendly, what it, that's what it is. And that's what they want to portray. They want to show this form of government we have does it work? That's why we're in such a bad shape we're in now. We have all the hate, the division, the corruption, the perversion. It doesn't work. That's what they want us to believe. But they don't want us to know that they were the ones behind the scenes manipulating and controlling these things through government, through the media, through everything that we see to make this the way that it is. Because they want to crash it down that way they can say, see, this doesn't, this doesn't work. We had to come in and fix it. Give us full power full control, ownership of everything. You know, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. And people will say, well, we're miserable now. Part of this experiment we had here didn't work in the United States. We have to go with something else. And that is the plan, unfortunately. And you know, there's no way that I see of actually fixing the country. And a lot of people have these false hopes in elections, for example. We're going to elect this guy over here to be our president. He's going to come in. He's going to actually do something to make change and fix something. It's going to be better because I'd like this, like this guy over here to stay calm, collect it, let everything go on for a few more years, then we'll, we'll get them next time. We'll vote somebody in there that will actually do something, man. Take this red wave everyone's talking about. The Democrats are so bad. Everything is going on. We have massive debt. We have wars going on, rumors of wars going on. We have all the immorality, we have an open southern border. There's going to be a red wave because the people see this and the people don't want this. They're going to vote red. We're going to get rid of all this crap going on and put our people in there on the right. They're going to fix these issues. The election happened and it wasn't a red wave because you should have enough sense to know how these elections are ran, how these votes are counted, and how this all works. This is a system. It's all make-believe. It's all planned to make people stay calm a little longer while they keep enslaving us all. You stay calm, they're gonna keep on doing their agenda, enslaving us all, putting their values or lack of values forward, and keep on spending, keep on robbing the country. You just stay calm for a while longer, wait till that next election and we'll vote them out of there. Ain't gonna happen. And you have other people with this false hope there's gonna be a civil war, there's gonna be a revolution, we're gonna take this country back. Uh, no, it ain't gonna happen. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people are going to click off here, something here, that. It's not going to happen. And it's mainly people want to pretend. People want to make themselves feel better. They want to sit there on their easy chair and rub their AR-15. We're taking this country back. If it gets too far, if we cross this line, we'll take this country back. And unfortunately, you know, it's not going to happen. And if it did happen, how would that look? You know, so that's, in my opinion, it's off the table. The only thing that could happen is some of the states, the deep red states, but they're making those more blue by having that border open and this migration of these urban areas that are more liberal and people moving to these other red states because they don't like the policies, but they're bringing a lot of their policies with them to these red states. Open border, and they're doing that on purpose to make, to make those states like Texas and Florida, for example, blue. But, you know, at some point, things could get so bad that the country could split up. And if that happens, you know, you could have sort of a civil war because the federal government, just like in the first civil war, didn't like that because they weren't the resources. It wasn't about blacks. It wasn't about releasing the slaves. It wasn't about slavery. It was about those resources in the South. They wanted those resources back. Lincoln wanted to get those resources back. So the civil war started. And that could happen, but it's unlikely, in my opinion, anything is possible. But don't put your hopes in a civil war or, you know, your state seceding from the Union and taking everything back to, 
to these conservative values because in my opinion it's probably not going to happen i mean it's a good thought it's better thought you know if the whole country would come together and get back to where it should be but it's not going to happen unfortunately now a lot of people are going to say well you give all the problems how about the solutions the solution is to focus locally focus your political efforts locally build your community locally elect people in your community like your sheriff that's conservative your mayor your alderman and then you know you can focus on the state at the state level but mainly focus on your county and your local town because you can get to these people you can talk to these people you can actually know these people firsthand and they're not completely detached like that bunch of corrupt devils are in washington dc so focus your political efforts locally and you know maybe you can run for political office locally but the federal level is too corrupt too far gone and you know in my opinion the country is too corrupt too far gone to actually change it as far as any meaningful change to change it back to the, those conservative values that we all wish we still had in this country also get armed get as armed as you possibly can learn how to use those firearms spare magazines ammunition learn how to reload reloading components uh, cleaning supplies for those farms for upkeep training medical we all should know this now since this is a prepping channel medical uh, get financially stable if you can gold and silver is great to put back barter items because there's going to be another another economy in the near future because they're going to go to these central bank digital currencies and they're working on that right now and that is again about more control and they'll make it sound like this great thing however we know it's just going to be a part of the system to enslave us all but get prepared stockpile food except for allowing your property grow a garden learn everything you can about producing all your own food where you are in your community be an asset to your community like i said get armed get training closer to your family get closer to god get in church and pray for the country for the people for the morality however realize you know people have free will god doesn't make people just do what he wants them to do they have free will and we see how free will with a lot of people is you know we have immorality in the country and it's widespread you know what i'm talking about and i don't think people's going to change because god has left her soul i think i mean they just don't have it here they've been possibly possessed i mean i don't know it sure seems that way by the way some of these people look and i look and act that he might be possessed or something i don't know but we all know that morality is definitely lacking in this country the economy is crap in this country we have a huge national debt all kinds of things going on it's not going to be fixed by throwing currency at it it's not going to be fixed at all in my opinion because it's too far gone we passed that tipping point so all you can do is prepare the best you can especially get armed food storage and self-reliance stay healthy stay safe stay frosty i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully